guys, Brad M73 here. Today is Thursday, August 16th, 2018, and today we've got our first look at the German map for Farming Simulator 19. Let's take a look at the latest preview. Los ins Auto, wir fahren raus aufs Land, da wo echt keine Sau mehr ist. Wir warten knietief durch den Matsch, bis kein Fuß mehr zu sehen ist. Und ein Räuberleiter dort auf einen rauen Fels rauf. Lassen die Beine baumeln, denn die Welt nimmt eh ihren Lauf. Eh ihren Lauf. Na los, ich spiel unsere Hymne an. Dann heißt's, singen aus dem Autofenster Sollen die Leute doch schauen, uns hält heute nichts mehr auf Denn heute, denn heute ist gestern schon morgen Ist gestern schon morgen And there we have it, guys. That was the first look at the Farming Simulator 19 uh, Germany map, or, or European map. I'm not sure if it's Germany. It looks German because there's, like, German wording and things like that. But um, really impressed. Like, the lighting engine looks amazing. Um, we've got a couple glimpses of the volumetric clouds. Nothing too incredible. Um, but we're going to like kind of, I'm going to slow this down and I'm going to kind of really take a, a close look and, uh, kind of see. Now it does remind me a lot of a, of a, a mod map that I played some years ago called Two Rivers. Um, it also, uh, reminds me a lot of, uh, the Hegenstead map from, I think it was called Hegenstead from Farming Simulator 2013. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> There's some nice reflections there. I'm kind of looking. See, I see the reflection, but I don't see the sun in the sky. Where's the sun? The sun should be above the horizon. Not seeing it yet. You can kind of tell there's a light source there, but I'm not actually seeing the sun. Uh oh, we got to run through this again. Um, so I'm basically just watching this over. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to start pausing things. So we have our first glimpse at the bird, which was really nice to see. I wasn't expecting that. Um we have a viaduct here with the train moving across it. Um we can still see the grain bins, we can see um the uh the log carts. So, you know, that's proof positive right there that logging is still in the game. A lot of people have been asking about it. Uh, let's see here. Looks like we have something like a train station. Now there's a split track, which I find interesting. Like, are we going to be able to go off onto different tracks? Um, I think that would be pretty cool, um, though I'm not going to, you know, put any money on that just yet. It could just be there for decoration. For example, you know, like the right track might be the one that you know, is like the through track, and then the other one just kind of goes to a stop or something. I don't know. Uh, trees look really nice. I love the, you know, the cliffs and things like that. Um, the German buildings off to the the right are very, you know, European. Um, got another view of the woods. I think the train's going to go past here in a second. Yes, there it goes. Oh, and it fades out. Um, here's another view. <clears throat> We've got the viaduct to the left. So the uh, the original camera position was likely, you know, down here to the right uh, from the scene that we've seen previously. Um, lots of uh, grasses and things like that growing up. So kind of adds, a, you know, a, a, a bushy depth to the, uh, the scenery, which I like. Um, yep, there's just some trees, some power lines off in the distance with little warning balls on there. Um, here we've got, you know, some birds taking off, which I think is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a couple shots. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we still don't see, really see the sun. 
Maybe that's intentional. I don't know. But yep, there's the birds taken off. It's mighty good. You can see a little bit of distortion in the grass. Um, that's bound to happen on a trailer like this, especially when it's so heavily compressed. Another, whoop, let's go back to this scene. <clears throat> little park bench here. Just a road going across, you know, a little waterway. You can see the waterfall off to the left moving. Um, more trees for more logging, I'm sure. Uh, and then we get, th get this nice view. It looks like a little soccer pitch, a definitely overgrown soccer pitch um, or a soccer field. As I can see the goal right there, but there's no net. Um, probably needs a good mowing. I don't know. Um, first view of the castle up on the hill. Now, that castle definitely reminds me of the castle. I think it was in Farming Simulator 2011. I, it might have even been in 09. But it kind of looks like an updated version of that um, with a more modernized section. There's kind of ruins there, and then there's kind of like a modern tower. Uh, still no fields. Oh wait, we did. We have seen fields. Okay, so here's a field. This looks like a, uh, a hunting perch, which are very common in Europe. I uh, don't really see those too often in the United States, but they're literally everywhere in Europe. Um, at least, at least in Germany. Like driving across Germany, you'll see them like almost on every single field. Uh, so we've got some crops growing. Okay, so here we have a little bit more of an overview look of a, a portion of the map now i don't see looks like there might be like a parking lot or something off here to the left behind the tree needles um very hard to see and i'm not sure if we've seen these type of trees in farming simulator before those are pretty cool again we got the, another park bench we've got a little garbage can nothing too exciting and we've got our first look at several of the fields and just looking at it from this perspective Pretty much looks like the fields that we've come to see in, in previous versions of Farming Simulator. S farming Simulator. Sorry, it's like super early in the morning and I just woke up like right before this video. Yeah, I'm really liking what I see so far on this map. Al Alwaldgebeit, Alwaldgebeit, and Plums und Fallerin. I have no idea what that says in German. Looks like there's a river in the background or possibly a lake. Not really sure. Um, there's the castle off in the distance again. Some buildings down in the valley to the left. And we can also see some uh, trees. Or not trees, some fields. Well, we can see some trees too. But we can you know, have a couple glimpses of some fields there. One of the things <clears throat> that kind of sets this map apart is you know if you look along the horizon you see a lot of trees off in the distance and i'm sure those are outside the map boundaries it may not you know you may be able to take a bridge across the river i haven't seen a bridge yet <clears throat> but um the the extended map boundary has a much more finished look in this trailer uh than it does on other trailers now this really this house right here really really reminds me of the two rivers map the, the the two rivers map had one that was very uh very similar to this we've got a nice um kind of vehicle shed here some silos maybe one of the selling points up on top of the mount or the hill there you can see uh the uh the castle again another house you can see kind of like this lake or possibly a river off to the right looks like there's a town on the opposite side of the river um and and i'm thinking that that may not be part of the map that you can actually get to like kind of like the river or whatever that is is going to be the border um just because the buildings look they almost look like toys like little you know wooden blocks but um the, build, the large building on this side of the river looks nice. You got a little uh, rusty swing set there. Weiss. I wonder if that is something. There's a crane here. That would be cool if we could get up in there and actually use it to like load gigantic cargo boxes of grains or something onto a boat. That would be cool. 
Um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I don't know. Um, I like the uh, texturing on the side of the buildings. I think that adds a lot more realism to the uh, map. Well, there's a bunch of wood planks here on the left in this next scene, which I'm guessing this is probably going to be maybe a selling point for wood chips or lumber or both. Uh, we see kind of the mountains up in the distance. Now, these mountains aren't nearly as detailed as the ones that we've seen in some of the previous cuts. Um, they look a little bit more unfinished. I wish we could have a little bit more uh, definition to them. But um, overall, you know, the texture um, looks good. I Well, the texture as far as, like, the uh, the indentations and things like that in the map, not the act, like, not the physical art texture, <laughs> I should say. It, you know, if you look in the front, the, the rocks look great. But by contrast, the you know the upper part looks very unfinished, kind of like you know. Okay, here we've got rocks on the earth, and then there's kind of this moonscape-looking thing off in the distance. Um, the building looks great, though. the The brick textures really super nice. You can see the train going off in the distance. Um, here is the uh, a glimpse of the the German town or the European town, which looks really nice, and we can see. Well, we'll see it more in a second, but we can see this fountain thing up at the top. I don't know. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's not a fountain. It's just a statue. So we have, we've got a bird. Well, it looks like a small deer or something. Um, dogs, sheep, pigs, and cows. No horses, however. Maybe we get another. Oh, what is that? Is that like a small deer? It looks like a deer. It's definitely not a cat. I don't know what the heck that thing is. What is it? LBG. Okay. I think there should be a T. Okay. Um, let's see here. Just another view of the of the you know the streets here, which are really nice. Another view of kind of the town. What does that say? Fry Fry Village. You're aware. You're aware. I don't know what that means. Fire or something? I don't know. Could be. No, it's not fire. And then we've got Lidl. I mean, Ledley, <laughs> which I guess is probably like a little store. Boy, they really need to mow their lawns. I mean, look at this. It's like all the grass has grown up. But I'm really liking the look of the map. Uh, here's another view of the Ledley with the mountain off in the distance. Um, oh, I wonder if we'll be able to buy Farm Funny Stickies. Oh my gosh. Those are those like stretchy things that you could like whip at your friend. It's like a hand or something. You could like whip at your friend and they would stick on them for like a few seconds and then you could like pull them off. <laughs> We're totally not going to be able to buy candy in this game, but it would be kind of cool if you could. There's a, there's a trash bin, another uh, bench there. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. Kind of a bus stop shelter here kids getting ready to go to school um another nice kind of a german alpine like home uh it looks like there's a waterfall up in the distance there hey that was a really quick scene where are we at here if i can go back to the beginning of that scene there there we go well that's a really quick scene see the um the waterfall there the waterfall looks really good we get some recycling bins i'm guessing uh, we've got a field here in the background lots of power lines and just all kinds of stuff going on here a uh, nice forest shot with you know here you can really see that uh that new lighting engine and the contrast uh, between light and dark and that just adds a lot of depth to the scenery Ooh, look at that shot i'm gonna guess that this is probably like the pathway that goes up to uh where the castle is if i would you know for lack of a better judgment look how big that lake is i'm guessing that's probably like a map boundary of some sort Really nice reflections on the water. Now here we get a really nice wide view of the map. And again, I mean, this this castle, or at least the ruins, are really 
they just take me back to the Two Rivers map of Farming Sim, you know, 13 and 15. Heck, they, there's probably a mod of it for 17. I'm not sure. But that was actually my favorite mod map for uh, Farming Sim 17. But I'm going to go with, um, this is the map boundary here. This uh, looks like a river, uh, possibly like the Rhine River. And then the, this little town across the river is just kind of a, uh, just decoration of the scenery. I would like to see a little bit more foliage and things like that, just to kind of make it seem a little bit more realistic, um, especially in contrast with the uh, closer side of the river. Uh, but, you know, you can see the town down there. We've got some fields off to the left. I think the scene is going to change any second. Yep, there it goes. Go back just a smidgen. Uh, we can see the viaduct over on the other side of the uh, map there, off, off to the far upper left. So we can kind of get a, you know, put us, put ourselves in perspective of uh, where everything is. Um, really big open field here, just some other fields dotted around, which are kind of cool. Really, really liking the uh, graphics engine here, though. Up oh, here, we've got the train coming up. There's the grain cars, the the wood car. Oh, was there another car behind it? Looks like there's even another car back here, like a flat car. Oh, you know, that would be nice if you could actually finally drive vehicles up onto the train and, like, transport them. That would be pretty cool. Um, again, okay, here's another, like, bus stop. A couple fields here along with the cliffs. I cannot wait to get up in those cliffs and start looking for Easter eggs and gold coins and leprechaun shamrocks and, I don't know, whatever else they throw at us, um, and other Easter eggs. I love looking for Easter eggs in, in Farming Sim. I absolutely love it. Uh, so I think this is the final shot. I could be wrong, but there's kind of a turd on the pathway down there. I think there's been an animal or like a Bigfoot or something that's come through here, which is kind of scaring me. Oh, it's a bird. It wasn't a turd. Close. They kind of sound similar. Okay, and we get the fade out at the end. So, yeah, a really nice big map. The extended map borders kind of give it a feel that it's much larger than it is, you know, than it, I think it is. So there we go, guys. Our first look at Farming Simulator 19's all-new German map. I just got to watch. We got to watch this again. It's just too much. Too much to watch. I like it. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this map. More so than the first uh, clip that we saw. The first little teaser, uh, whatever you want to call that. The featurette, I guess. Uh, which just showed a little bit of the American map and the John Deere tractor. Um, I was really hoping to see you know, some of the vehicles at work. You know, like a combine and, you know... Um, really, really wanting to see, you know, some cotton. Uh, like the cotton picking, and um, you know, see what's available there. I'm hoping next week at uh, at Gamescom, uh, which I think starts like the 20th and runs through the 24th, something like that. I don't, I'm not sure what the dates are, um, but uh, it's going to be next week, and uh, hopefully we'll get you know a, a proper non-work in progress footage well I, I technically i guess everything up till the day of release is, is going to be a work in progress but um yeah just really 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 liking what i'm seeing so far uh at least off of this map now the big question is going to be what map am i going to play on when the game gets released and i might actually run two series i might do one on the German, or you know, the European map, the Germany map, or I'm gonna call it the German map, because hey, that's what it, there's, that's German wording right there on the side. But um, I might do both. I might do one series on the American map, one series on the, the European map. Not gonna do a series on the South American map though. Definitely guarantee that that will not be a thing. But um, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you love what you're seeing here. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and much, much more Farming Simulator 19 news. Guys, thanks again for watching. I'm Bradham73, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.